Hello, it's Christine Saxon. I am out in my kayak in the beautiful Comox Valley. Look at that blue sky, blue water. And um, I'm actually taking a break from working on some, some slides and a presentation I'm going to be doing. And I thought, you know what, I need to balance this out. I'm going to go out, check the weather, look beautiful. So here I am sitting out in the, in the bay in my kayak, my dirty little kayak. My happy little kayak and I'm gonna to talk to you today I invite you to talk about change because as you can see this side of the sky looks much different so I might get wet and uh, it inspired me to talk to you today about change because change is I'd say maybe a quarter of the work that I do with my clients I'm a, I'm a coach an executive coach and a leadership coach um, I am bringing you this series called Paddle Your Own Boat. And as a coach, I position myself beside people. I actually have this sketch of me in a kayak beside someone else. So it's two people in a kayak. And that's what I do. I position myself beside people and I help them as they paddle their own boat. And uh, it's resonating for a lot of people. And yeah, probably like, I don't know. I don't know if I could put a number on it, but it feels like at least a quarter of the time, maybe half the time, what we're talking about is the result of external changes. Um, it's people needing to adjust, people needing to wrap their head around what's going on, people feeling resistance. Um, you know what? This isn't what I, you know, signed on for. Um, here we are, folks, in a global pandemic. This isn't what we signed up, signed up for, right? We didn't, we didn't uh, expect this. We didn't plan for this necessarily. And here we are. And we're still afloat. I am. Okay. So perspective is good. Um, it has been terribly challenging in a lot of different ways. And I'm so grateful that people are willing to do things like this. Watch a, watch a webinar. Go, you know what? I've heard the word resilience so much the last year. And I know I need to keep going. So let's talk about keeping going. Let's talk about paddling your boat. Um, I am paddling my boat with one hand as I do this. Um, and sometimes that's what we do, right? So change, I mentioned a moment ago, change happens around us. The weather is changing. What was forecast is really not what it looks like is coming over those mountains. And that's a great metaphor for what often happens at work. We've got things planned. We've figured out what our work's going to look like. And boom, we're not able to. By Thursday, you realize you haven't focused on anything you were thinking of focusing on. So change happens um, and, you know, there's lots of cliches about, oh, the only thing we can expect, you know, the only sure thing is change. And um, it's, it's maybe true. I don't know. Um, I'm less curious about the change, the concept of change. And I focus a lot more on shift. So what I say to my clients and I want to invite you to think about is how can you make shifts happen when things are changing around you? Uh, maybe you know about some of the changes, maybe you don't. Um, how can you shift so that you can uh, adapt to the change, so that you can decide what to do about the change? And the main ways that you can shift are shifting your mindset and shifting your behavior. And this is a big component of paddling your own boat, right? The change, maybe you're the one that sponsored the change, maybe you're the one that, that instigated it. Often that would mean you'd be more aligned with it. I'm talking more today about the types of changes that we didn't anticipate and we're not feeling that groovy about. So from, from a perspective of coaching and, and your own work, your self-work and what you can do, what's in your control, is you can look at the change that's going on and go, huh, hello change. Um, hello brain, thank you for helping me feel anxiety, thank you, thank you for helping me feel uh, some fear, maybe some anger, frustration, irritation, excitement, a bunch of different feelings. Now, the change is happening. I could pull my, my boat up over there and get stuck and refuse to change. I can switch boats. Uh, in this case, I want to paddle my own boat. And this is where shift work comes in. Okay, so this is the work of shifts. Two ways we shift. Shift our behaviors, shift our mindsets. Often it takes uh, one to get the other one happening. So shifting your behavior 
you know, sometimes it's true that if we're not really happy about something, but we put a smile on our face, it actually sends the right chemicals and we start feeling okay about it. And that's such an oversimplification um, of just showing that sometimes getting down and starting to work on a project, you know, getting to know that person you weren't so keen on, on being reassigned to work with and oh, your mindset changes, you get more data. You just kind of get some momentum. So sometimes we can shift our behaviors first and adapt to a change. Other times we need to dig deep and go, what's going on inside me? What's internal to me that is making me resist, that is making me feel stuck, that is making me feel sleepless at times? And what do I want to do about it? And that is paddling your own boat, saying, okay, I get it. I'm stuck. I'm spending so much of my energy thinking about this change and resisting this change rather than deciding what do I need to shift? What do I want to shift? You know, you might be resisting the change inside, but not speaking up about it. So you could shift and decide to paddle your own boat and in a responsible, open manner, share what your resistance is and ask if there's any flexibility to adapt to the things that you're seeing that are important. If, you're, if your mindset is, is um, really around just being exhausted, you may have what's actually called in change, in change leadership and change management theory, change saturation. And change saturation is occurring for a lot of my clients right now. I feel it some days. Like, what can I rely on still? What is actually not changing in my life? So change saturation can make us feel literally, right, saturated, stuck, unable to move, and, you know, no more room to pour in any new energy or new ideas. Sometimes naming these things can help you to reframe them. So you've, if you've watched my other videos, you might have heard me say, name it to tame it. Today I'm going to say, name it to reframe it. Right? I feel awful about this change that's happening. I feel like it was announced so quickly. I don't have time to adapt to it. Right? I'm feeling stuck about it. I'm, I'm restless or I'm sleepless. Okay, what do I want to shift? What do I want to reframe? So if I name it, oh, I'm feeling unsteady. Okay, can I reframe that? Am I feeling unsteady? Yes. Have I been through this before? Yeah, I actually have. Do I have some skills to get through change? I do. I'm just tired. Okay, I'm going to reframe this. I just need to kind of go slow and steady. Right? Steady out of unsteady. Just add slow to it. Naming what's going on for yourself during change can help you make the internal shifts that you need. Right? A storm you can see behind me. It looks like a storm's coming. So, you know what? Change my behavior. Paddle your own boat. I am amazed every time I'm in touch with my clients. Every day, every call. People just have such an incredible will to go, ah, right, this is happening. Okay, let's keep going. Folks, we've got this.